Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Denmark and they take on Tunisia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Thomas Delaney plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here's how Tunisia will line up. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. is underway Meria and it's with Kazari now closed down straight away But it would be an attractive proposition for any manager to build the team around Christian Eriksen. How might he contribute in this game, Stuart? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides. Will he finish? And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Ericsson. Ericsson. And now Vass. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Ericsson.
Dolberg has it. Nicely timed tackle. Skov Olsen. Christian Eriksen now. And a poor ball. Sassi. Skov Olsen. Eriksen. Happy to take on the shot. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Kasper Dolberg Eriksson's pass needed to be a little bit better Sassi Laiduni Jaziri Very quick thinking there Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Kasper Dolberg. Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish it off. Good use of advantage by the referee. And he read it superbly. Really nice ball. Just needs to stay calm. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Mele. Mikael Damsgaard. Eriksen. It's there for him. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Sleety. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, Christian Eriksen, a player with a tremendous eye, Stuart, and using it to good effect. Yes, he's played well, hasn't he? Obviously took his goal well, but his overall performance has been impressive too. Hopefully he and the rest of the team can maintain that level into the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Takes the shot! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Daniel Vass. And Hoybier with it. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. 
Now, let's see what they can do here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Delaney. Dolberg has it. Could cross it in here. Can he put it away? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Sleety moving the ball forward with purpose. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Delaney. Perjani Sassi. Drega. He has time to play it over. Wonderful chance. And a goal! Took a definite nick, and nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. Well, there it is. Quite clearly, it takes a deflection, and that's enough to beat the keeper. Not much he could do there. the game then 3-2 what will happen next Ericsson Fabier on the pass a good one moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass well the fans really want him to shoot well they stopped them in their tracks that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, let's see this again, because that's a fantastic bit of technique. To get that much movement and accuracy on the strike needs the perfect contact on the ball. And he's certainly got that. What a free kick that is. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Good strength to keep the ball. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Damsgaard. Well, for... Oh, big opportunity! Off the post and back in play! And I think the threat has been averted. Plenty of support here. Well, tremendous block. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Well, it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. A wonderful intervention. Eriksson, and a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue.
Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Wabi Hazri. Ferjani Sassi. Oh, far from the ideal pass. Mele. Drega. Now Naeem Sleety. Very quick thinking there. Making progress. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And the final whistle. And they're going to have to come to terms with this. A defeat not at all what they were planning for, Stuart. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me.